Hello, coming for another mail day. This one's actually slightly different. This is a bunch of CDs that I ordered maybe about a month or two ago, and I had put them in my inner drawer of my desk while I was cleaning stuff up and completely forgot about it. So, got me a little bit of vodka and Coke to start off the evening. Wearing my nice Credence Clearwater Revival shirt. And then let's dive into these before I put them into my CD list and start listening to them. Now this is a collection from a couple of different things. Discogs, eBay, uh, Centria Media, um, Season of Mist. And uh, God of War, Gods of War, and what what's the name? Bloody Mountain. So let's start with you know the bigger ones, and kind of just skip around after that. This is Century Media had a sale going on; they were doing five dollar CDs, so I picked a few up. Got aborted. Terror Vision. It's a band that I've been following ever since their early days. Um, they lost me about midway through. I think right after the one album. The album that came after Gore, uh, Saw and the Gore, Gormageddon. That's it. Uh, I think around Strict Nine. And that was the last one I even listened to. And then lately they've been coming back as being a really awesome death grind. You know, they're not as nasty as they used to be, but definitely worth listening to. And it was definitely worth five bucks. Here, I got the new Mayhem. This is uh, Damon. Uh, everybody knows who Mayhem are. Not much I can say about that. I haven't really listened to much of them past um, Great Grand Declaration of War. Just no particular reason just have other things I'd rather get so got that I might work my way back eventually then I got this napalm death coded smears and more uncommon slurs this is a two CD compilation album it is um, I think a bunch of splits and bonus tracks from like the Japanese uh, releases and whatnot for five bucks and it being Napalm Death, I am definitely a fan and will happily get. Now these three, I know one I got from eBay, the others I got from Discogs. This is classic band, classic material. Don't really know why I did not have this in my collection, but King Diamond. Fatal Portrait, this is the vinyl... Uh, replica CD. It's a little bit bigger digipack than normal. I just like the presentation of this one over the others, you know, other than the original, especially for the back. But definitely um, happy to have it. I'm very familiar with the band, of course. This one, uh, I was painting a house recently and listened to it. It's not the best of post-Voodoo King Diamond, but it is very awesome. I mean, all King Diamond is awesome. But this is House of God. Like, I, I do prefer, I think it's uh, Voodoo 2, uh, not Voodoo 2, but um, Melissa 2 and you know, Melissa 2. Hell. Abigail 2. That one was really awesome. And Puppet Master is really awesome. And I need to get those two. But this one was on there for cheap. I went ahead and snagged it up. And then also this classic, Merciful Fate, Into the Unknown. Just did not have it for no particular reason. I'm happy to have it now. Just excellent, excellent. It's like the 96 release of it. So... Fantastic. If you're not a fan of King Diamond, you are not my friend. 
Now, this is from Season of Mist. I was ordering the new Revenge album. Strike, Smother, Dehumanize. Always been a huge fan of Revenge. I happened to get the Digipack that has the back patch, or, you know, the little patch with it. Um, I already have a Revenge patch on my jacket. I might start another one, put this one on it. Might save it off to the side for something else. Either way, was quite happy to get it. Decided to pick up some of the other ones I did not have. I have most Revenge, but I had to double check to see what I didn't. I did not have this EP, which is the Deceiver, Diseased, and Miasmic. It's a two-song EP. Digipack. Um, I know exactly what I'm going to get, so always awesome. And I don't know why I did not have this album, but Behold Total Rejection. I uh, usually try to keep up with what albums I have by recognizing the artwork on it. And since they've had a consistent standpoint or an visual presentation sometimes it kind of gets mush up in the old brain since it's mainly like skull with something skull with something else and three words so i mean can't fault me this i went ahead and picked up it was a dollar ritual killer semi-local to me uh, i know sammy i know zach i know james even though i don't know if james performed on this particular one um Never had gotten it before. Finally did. Hooray for me. Now, got this autopsy puncturing the grotesque. I have pretty much all of the autopsy albums and EPs and whatnot up till the Hacksaw album. Tourniquets and Hacksaws. And, um, kind of dropped off because they released so much. So I've been trying to catch up and, you know, make sure that I get it all up in the collection. Now this here, this is from Gods of War. This is Odesra. Um, Rescom. I, I don't pronounce Czech, so excuse me for that. I really love this band. I was happy to see that they had a new album, so I immediately ordered it. The previous one, I can't remember what it was named. Uh, it, I only remember it was a picture of some really fat, flabby, sad tits on a bed with a ton of cigarettes. But that album is so fantastic. I've played it so many times, how they transitioned into the clean guitars, where it's not a ton of reverb or anything. It just transitions, and the drums just carry it so much further than and build it up more than what it is so i'm looking forward to seeing if they continue that on with this this one i took a listen to just because uh since i was ordering from gods of war uh the shipping was going to be pretty high so i might as well pick up something else this is ix daily daily I can't remember if it was black metal. I can't remember it dissonant. It was definitely interesting enough for me to go ahead and purchase a brand new copy of it. So I'll get to listen to that later today. Now, this next order is from Bloody Mountain Records. I was looking and I saw that Valdur has a new album or newish to me. Divine Cestation Digipack. I love the artwork and the green color scheme for it. And since I ordered that, I also got the drummer's personal project, uh, Suspres Sus Superion. This is Optimus Pulse. If you love dissonant black death metal like, uh, you know, Portal, uh, Volus, definitely worth your time. It's a one-man band. He actually performs, performs all the drums. It's uh, 41 out of 100. I found out about this not 
this time around, but earlier last year, and picked this up, and it's just fantastic. Also kind of reminds me of a uh, Jute Glute, or however you pronounce that guy's uh, band name, but since I ordered those two, he uh, also included Cosmic Void, which is very awesome. I'm going to have to pass this on to my friend Justin and Volus. I already had purchased this last year with a bunch of his other one-man bands. Just a fantastic musician, fantastic drummer. Very happy to have in my collection. Now this last little lot here comes from a couple of different places. One is from Discogs. This is what I was originally going for, this Incarnatus. Sinfora de Hades is awesome black death um, trying to think of what it kind of sounds like not Inquisition but it doesn't matter black death came out in 2001 on black castle productions my friend was telling me about it telling me how rare it is I went to uh, Discogs immediately and found a copy for $10 and purchased it just immediately right there and laughed at him for trying to build it up for more. And since I was buying it from Discogs, I went ahead and got this. This is Crypt Grave. Just solid death metal. Old school. Love the old school uh, black and white artwork. Went ahead and picked that up. This one was also on there. I don't remember what it sounds like, this Osmody uh, Chlorosis. I have a feeling that it's Tech Death. Might not be. Might be some other avant-garde black metal. I don't really recall since it's been about a couple of months, but might pull that one out immediately. This one I ordered I think it was on eBay through Mad Rush, but it's the new Ulcerate. The, um, of course I cannot read it. Stare into the death and be still. I love everything they've ever done. Uh, love the drumming. That's always been my favorite aspect. I always love watching the videos of him performing and tracking. And, you know, the riffs are great. I think in the last four albums really everything after um, everything is fire has become this wash of dissonant and subtle harmony that it doesn't have any standout riffs to me it's just a background to the fantastic drumming that I actually recall the patterns for a lot more than the actual riffs so Ooh really excited to listen to it because I've been avoiding you know even previewing any of it and then the last one I ordered directly this is Undeath this is the Extential Horror just great old school death metal I saw the artwork and I was immediately floored I love the uh, R-rated warning Relentless death metal from the grave. You know, you can't get any better than that, in my opinion. And I think that... Oh, this actually is from uh, God of War as well. So maybe I ordered it with the other two. I just happened to notice that. I thought it was directly from the band. Don't matter. Either way, still got it. Fantastic. Had a lot to listen to have plenty to update my list with. Cheers. Have a good night.